Hey guys, Cricket here, and welcome to Fragments. There's actually nothing in the description about this game, so let's just dive on in. Let's go. Nice. Off the bat, a key. Nice. Uh, no. Okay. Can these be opened? Oh, okay. Anything in there? So I like the style, the VHS style. It's pretty popular right now. It's not too shabby. It's just gonna need to pick up. No. It is kind of laggy. What's this? Do I need this? Do I need this? Pick up a book. Do I have some sort of inventory? I do. An old bloody key. A framed photo of your wife. How did it get here? I took it from the dresser. Only one page isn't blank. It reads, Karen's will let you here. Wherever you think that is, we are here to show you how to find him if you can't find him. We've searched for him for over 200,000 times. The English is a little off, but... I'm not going to judge it off of that. If you know someplace else where you think he's hiding, most likely somewhere in the United States, let us know by filing a search warrant. We will show you how to locate him and we will return your call. You could use this to your advantage if you're looking for a particular person and you're worried that he's hiding in a place with a low police presence. This is especially useful if you don't know all of the law enforcement information or you just need to find a specific person for certain crimes. Even if you do have to have his phone number, you're likely to get his name quickly. So how do you get in touch with someone else who seems to have the same location information? The simplest course of action is to just keep asking strangers their location. Okay. Okay. That phone is super annoying. What does this, what does this do? Oh, no. Why is that even a thing that's able? All right, this is super laggy for me. What was the purpose of that hallway if we were just going to end up in another hallway? <laughs> oh my god. Can this be like... Is that a skull? Yes, it is. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Can anything be pressed? Anything in here? Can I pick this up? No. All right. So I need something to cut those boards. What's this? I can't touch you. That's weird. Is that a body? <laughs> what? Okay then. What's on here? Pick up note. There we go. Yikes. Okay. 
A stained piece of letterhead stating the following. The Book of the Dead. The Book of Darkness is a book, and in its pages a power comes to exist. It appears to be a book until something changes. It grows into a book, then becomes a book, then becomes a book, and away in the darkness is an increase, and it grows again to be a book. It is a book of life, one of wisdom, and on the pages of the Book of Darkness... The word of God does not mean life, but the word of God is truth, and the book of the dead is truth for truth. A book which stands above the book of darkness, therefore he is a book which is a book of life, but which stands above, that is to say, is above the darkness. He is the book of darkness, see book of life, and it is he who is to be the light above the light in which darkness is. Tongue Twisters Nice. I needed some speech therapy. Okay. Can I like pick this? Ew. What? Is that an organ? Okay. Put that back. What was that? <laughs> He's just washing his hands. I've heard of a foot bath before, so. You know. <sighs> Can I take this? I need this for like the 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 wood the wood thing. No? Why would that be there then? Is this a room? What is this? Is this just darkness? Can I close this? Thanks, cool. Alright, so I need to know how to get rid of these. Can this be opened, maybe? Is there something in here? No. There has to be a way for me to get this. Like, there's no other explanation on why. Like, I had to... Oh, oh. A tad bit tedious there, developers. A tad bit tedious. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's just close this. Maybe we'll, we'll hear less of the ongoing noise. In here. Ooh, it looks like another note. <clears throat> okay, so we also have an old hacksaw, good for getting through wood, and okay, a blooded journal with frantic writing. The open page reads Dear Mr. Smith, I am sorry that you did not reply to my last letter. I did not wish to speak of you. I am sorry that the Lord cannot give you peace. I wish that his love would come to you. Please write with me. I am grateful to you for your kindness and love towards me. I am sorry that I cannot tell you the details of what has passed in Missouri, but my friend and I returned safely where we are. I have been told that Mr. Smith is dead. I am sorry to hear so. He was not born in this world. He must have died when I was still dead. All these things are so very sad and terrible. God had prepared for me a place to seek him. I do not know what I am to do, and the Lord is a master of all my plans, but I can believe in him, and in his Christ I am in need. I am sorry that I could not be of service to my brethren. I am a good person. You sound like a judgmental ass, but that's just my opinion in the subject, but whatever. What's in here? Oh, this is where I came from. We can close that right back up. All right, is there anything in here? Why would you, why is there an option to turn off lights in a scary game? Oh, oh, I just saw it. Do I have to crouch again? Is there anything in there? No, so let's close this one, open this one. Anything in there? No, and this one, nada. Okay, let's scooch over here. Anything in there? No. 
Anything in there? No. And anything in there? Hmm. I love buying dressers in my free time and putting nothing in them. You know, it's, just, it's my favorite pastime. All right. Nothing else. Can I go to sleep? Can I wake up from this nightmare? Am I supposed to like walk? <laughs> that was an asshole move to do and you know that that was an asshole move to do at the very end to jump scare me like that oh no okay so that was the game i actually had a lot of fun um besides the, the obvious issues with the game um the clicking of specific items it's just very tedious and it's unnecessary like the hacksaw i had to go into the into the bathroom click several times leave and then figure out oh maybe if i go in there a certain way then i'll be able to grab it but um there are some english errors in there um i'm not 100 percent sure where the developers are from it was a very nice try to in you know put english in there if that is not your first language i give you a big A for effort, but there are some grammatically incorrect things going on in there. It was a lot of uh, tongue twisters, but I felt like I got some good speech therapy off of it, so that's kind of cool. But um, other than that, I feel like the demo itself is pretty good. Perfect amount of time to play for a horror demo because people do get bored. It wasn't hard, um, not a lot to read. It was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. I, I hope that once they fix the small issues that it does have, that the full release will be just as swell. But um, that is it for this video. If you liked it, there will be a link in the description below as always. And if you like my content, please show the channel some love. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. And until next time, I am signing off. Bye.